In this video, I will attempt to make immunization schedule easy, hopefully, and it's based on the CDC 2017 vaccination schedule guidelines. And also my secondary source is Kaplan 2017. First thing we have to know is for birth. At the time of birth, we only give one vaccine, and that is the hepatitis B vaccine. So birth, B is for birth, and B is also for HPV, hepatitis B virus, or vaccine. Um, in uh, third world countries or other countries, uh, BCG is also given. I have a BCG score as well. But um, in the US, only HBV is given at birth. Simple. Next thing we have to know is about hepatitis A and hepatitis B vaccines. Hepatitis A vaccine is given twice, and hepatitis B vaccine is given three times. Okay, Hepatitis A vaccine is given between the age of one and two years old, and both of the doses must be at least six months apart. While hepatitis B vaccine is given in doses at zero, two, and six months. Zero meaning birth, so I give it first as birth, because it's a birth vaccine, and then I give it at the age of two months, and then at the age of six months, okay? So just remember that H HBV is given in three, or hepatitis B is given in three, and that is zero, two, and six months, okay? Next thing I want you to remember is that just like hepatitis B is given in three, so is HPV, okay? Um, and just like HBV is also given at 0, 2, and 6, same thing for HPV, except for instead of this being 0, 2, and 6 months, we have uh, 0 being replaced by the first time when you give the vaccine. And in this case, it would be at a post pubertal age, usually between 11 to 26 years of age. Makes sense, right? So, for example, if I gave my daughter her HPV vaccine on her sweet 16, I would wait two months to give her the second dose and thereafter wait another four months to give her the third dose. So for example, in this example, I would give her when she turned 16 and then at 16 years and two months and then 16 years and six months of age. Simple, right? So now we go to a real quick recap. So first thing that we learned is the birth vaccine is the HBV or hepatitis B vaccine before birth and before HPV. Next thing we learned, hepatitis A, you give it in, uh, you give it twice. Hepatitis B, you give it three times. Hepatitis A, we learned that you give it twice between the age of one and two years, of, uh, uh, years old, and uh, both those doses mu must be at least six months apart, whereas hepatitis B vaccine is given at zero, meaning birth, and then at two months and six months, zero to six. And HPV, or human pap papillomavirus uh, vaccine, is given at the same type of schedule, zero, two, and six, except for um, the zero instead of birth, it means the first time when you give the dose, which is at the post-pubertal age. Uh, so just like hepatitis B is given in three, so is HPV. Okay, now let's go to meningitis. Meningitis is the vaccine that is given to middle schoolers and high schoolers. Okay, MCV4 is given to 11 years old olds and 16 year olds. Okay, so 11 year old when you're 11 years old you are basically in middle school and when you're 16 years old you're basically in high school so meningitis is given to middle schoolers and high schoolers age of 11 and age of 16. next you should know the mmr and varicella vaccines now these both vaccines always go hand in hand okay whenever you see mmr in a schedule you'll always see varicella okay so much so that they're both live vaccines and there's even a com um, combined form which is the mmrv vaccine which is just the mmr plus a varicella vaccine in one shot now these two vaccines are given at the age of one and the age of four but you don't have to memorize this right now so just ignore that okay now a very important thing is the vaccination schedule format or the dates now this is the format that i would like you to remember birth 2 4 6 12 18 4 and 11 so we're going to see which vaccines are given at birth, which vaccines are given at 2 months, 4 months, and 6 months of age, and then which vaccine is given at 12 months, which is basically 1 year old for 1 year of age, and then at 18 months, at uh, when you're 4 years old, and then when you're 11 years old. Okay? So birth, 2, 4, 6, and then 12 months, then 18 months, and then in 4 year olds and 11 year olds. Okay? Simple. Just remember these numbers only. In case you missed it, I wrote over there 18 months is equal to D tap. So remember that and memorize it. That 18 months you give D tap. Okay. Now we have quick recap. Let's go back to the beginning. So birth vaccine, again, B for birth and B for hepatitis B virus. Hepatitis A given twice, hepatitis B given three times. Hepatitis A is given between the age of one and two in two doses. 
uh, each of them, uh, and they both must be six months apart. And the hepatitis B virus is given in three doses at zero, two, and six months, right? Zero meaning birth. And just like hepatitis B is given in three, so is HPV, and same or similar to HBV, 0, 2, and 6. However, instead of 0, we give this um, at, at some age between 11 to 26 years of old when the person is post-pubertal. Okay. And then meningitis is given to middle schoolers and high schoolers. When you're in middle school, you're 11. When you're high, in high school, you're 16. Okay. And then MMR and varicella always go hand in hand together. Whenever you see MMR, you'll always see varicella. And they're both live vaccines, and you give this at the age of 1 and 4, but again, don't memorize this right now. And then the most important thing, the vac vaccination schedule format, we have the vaccines at birth, and then 2, 4, and 6, and then 12 months, and then 18 months, then 4 years, and then 11 years. And for 18 months, you give DTAP. So 18 months, the vaccine that you give is DTAP. Now we are going to come to the mnemonics. There are four mnemonics that you need to know. Two of them have to do with Harry Potter. Two of them don't have to do with Harry Potter. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, yay. The first mnemonic, did you know that Gryffindor is the only house to have collected points past bedtime? Legend has it that it was because one night at precisely 2.46 a.m., Harry Potter ran into Dumbledore. That's 2.46 points to Gryffindor. So 2.46 a.m., from that we can tell 2, 4, and 6, which is at two, 2 months and 4 months and 6 months, which vaccines... Or to be given, well, Harry Potter ran into Dumbledore, H-P-R-I-N-D, right? Uh, the H here stands for Haemophilus Influenza B, the P for PCV13, R for Rotavirus, I F for IPV, and D for DTAP. Okay, the D is always for DTAP. I is always for inactive polyvirus. The R is for rotavirus because, you know, that's a virus that can cause diarrheal in illnesses in uh, little, little kids. The P is for PCV13, and the H, um, it is for hemophilus influenza B because this is something that could cause meningitis or you know other complications in little kids. If you think Harry Potter is childish, you can also remember it as, I hate doing per rectals at 2.46 a.m. Nobody likes that. Now, let me tell you something J.K. Rowling told me once during a recent press conference. She said that originally she had intended Harry Potter to murder Voldemort in his very first year at Hogwarts. Can you believe that? Finishing the entire Harry Potter series within one book? That's crazy, yeah? So, Harry Potter murdered Voldemort in his first year at Hogwarts. So, it's first year. Harry Potter murdered Voldemort. So, when you are one year old, when you are one years of age, H, P, M, and V. So first thing we have to remember is as soon as you see V, we know that stands for very seldom. That means if uh, whenever there is very seldom, you'll always have MMR as well. So whatever M there must be, there is going to be here is going to be MMR. So MMR for M and very seldom for V. And the H of course is for hemophilus influenza B, and the P is for PCV13. Are you still following? Because my doctor is very forgetful. So when you're four. My doctor is very forgetful. Once again, V, that means this is very seldom. Therefore, the other uh, letter, if it's an M, it must be MMR. You must have an MMR in there. And that leaves us with the D and the I. And obviously, the I is always for IPV and the D is always for deep tap. Okay, so my doctor is very forgetful. Now, the final mnemonic, elephants have muscular trunks. This is just a random fact. <laughs> So, when you're 11, elephants have muscular trunks. Here, we do have an M, but we don't have a V. That means this M does not stand for MMR. So instead, it actually stands for MCV4. Remember, meningitis is a vaccine that's given to middle schoolers and high schoolers. So when you're, middle school, when you're in middle school, you're basically 11 years old. And T is for the Tdap vaccine. And here, H is not for hemophilus influenza B. It is actually for HPV because hemophilus is something that you're worried about when you're little. When you're little. But uh, when, once you're 11, you're a teenager, now you're worried more about HPV, okay? Because remember, HPV is given in three, just like HPV, and the first uh, age where you, start, where you can start giving it in is when you're 11. So these are the four mnemonics. At 2.46 a.m., Harry Potter ran into Dumbledore, and first year at Hogwarts, Harry Potter murdered Voldemort. And my doctor is very forgetful. 
and elephants have muscular trunks. Okay, quick recap, really quick this time. Okay, first of all, the birth vaccine, we know is hepatitis B virus vaccine. Hepatitis A is given twice and hepatitis B is given three times. And hepatitis A is given between the age of one and two in uh, two doses, right, twice. And uh, both the doses have to be six months apart. Hepatitis B is given three times, which we know is at zero, two, and six, zero being birth since the birth of vaccine, and two and six the other months. And just like HBV is given in three, so is HPV. And just like 0, 2, 6 for HBV, this is also given at 0, 2, and 6. However, here 0 does not mean birth. It means any age between 11 and 26. And then in the subsequent uh, two months after that and six months after that. Meningitis is a vaccine given to high schoolers and middle schoolers. So when you're 11 and when you're 16, you get a meningitis vaccine. MMR and varicell always go hand in hand. And uh, once again, we don't have to memorize the years when they're given because... That's already covered in the mnemonics. Okay, and this is the vaccination schedule date formats where you give a uh, vaccine at birth and then at two, four, and six months, and then 12, 18, 4, and 11. And don't forget 18 months, you give DTAP. So the vaccine that you give at 18 months is always going to be DTAP. Okay, and the four mnemonics, um, I'll go to this slide actually. The four mnemonics, 2.46 a.m., Harry Potter ran into Dumbledore, and here H is going to be for hemophilus influenza B, P for PCV, and R for rotavirus, I for IPV, and D for DTAP. And first year at Hogwarts, Harry Potter murdered Voldemort. So when you're one years old, H for hemophilus influenza B, P for PCV, M and V. As soon as you see those, this has to be MMR, this has to be very seldom. And when you're four, my doctor is very forgetful, M, D, I, V. Uh, I, uh, once again, obviously for IPV and D for DTAP, and as soon as you see M and V in there, it means MMR and varicella. Elephants have muscular trunks, elephants for 11 have muscular trunks, HMT, however, here we don't see varicella, so this M must not be MMR, it must be MCV or meningitis vaccine. The T here is for Tdap, and the H here is for HPV, because now this uh, this person is into his teenage years. This is a nice summary of everything that I talked about so far with the whole immunization schedule. You can take a screenshot of it and print it if you would like. Okay, now we're going to cover some questions, just five of them. First one, a mother brought her healthy 14-month-old child, Robert Perez, to your clinic. Her last visit was eight months ago. What vaccinations will you give him? So last visit was eight months ago. That's basically when the child was six months old. Uh, clearly, this child has not received his vaccinations when he was one years old. So, since 12, 14 months is close to one, you are going to give him this mnemonic. Harry Potter murdered Voldemort in his first year. So, we know a hemophilus influenza B, PCV13, MMR, and varicella. MV, MMR, and varicella. And since he's also one year old now, you can also give him the first dose of the hepatitis A vaccine. Okay, and of course, the second dose of the hepatitis A vaccine should be uh, at least six months afterwards. Jill brought her 12-year-old daughter for a routine checkup. Her last visit was a few years ago. What vaccinations are appropriate for her age? So 12 is around 11 years old. Last vaccination was before that, a few years before that. So the mnemonic is elephants have muscular trunks, so HMT, uh, HPV, meningitis, and Tdap. When should she re return for the next HPV and MCV4? Well, HPV we know is 0 to 6, so after 2 months and after 6 months from today. And meningitis uh, is given when, it would be given when she's in high school, which is when she's 16 years old. What is the only vaccine you need to give at birth? Well, birth vaccine HBV and 18 months, DTAP. How many times and when should you give DTAP? Okay, DTAP is given 5 times. And this has to do with the mnemonics, 2.46 a.m., D for Dumbledore, and 18 months, we know DTAP anyways. And when you're four years old, D for doctors. And when you're 11, you give a Tdap, which is basically the booster dose. So in total, five doses, with the sixth dose being the booster dose. When and how many times should you give the hepatitis A vaccine? It should be given twice between one and two years of age. Both doses should be at least six months apart. 
uh, some quick high yield information. Live vaccines are delayed by at least three months from date of last immunoglobulin administration for whatever reason. So if somebody had Guillain-Barre syndrome and was uh, and had to uh, get immunoglobulins, uh, you would wait at least three months until it means administrating a live, live vaccines. Inactive intramuscular influenza vaccine is given annually starting from six months of age. So this you should know. You know, the influenza vaccine could be intramuscular, intramuscular or intranasal. The intramuscular is the one that's uh, the one that's usually given, which is the inactive type. And then the other one is the live intranasal influenza vaccine. Uh, and you don't give the intranasal uh, influenza vaccine because it's a live vaccine. You don't give it to immunocomp. To, uh, you don't give it to immunosuppressed uh, patients or people who are pregnant. Okay, MMR does not cause autism or IBD. What MMR does cause is febrile seizures. However, it's really rare. MMR, MMR and varicella vaccines are both alive and are not given until the child is at least one year of age. And same goes with hepatitis A vaccine. Although hepatitis A vaccine is not, li it's not a live vaccine. Okay, either give the live vaccines on the same day or wait at least one month before administrating the next live vaccine. So... Uh, if you're going to give somebody the MMR vaccine, you better give them the varicella vaccine on the same day. It doesn't have to be in the same shot, but it has to be in the same day. But if you gave the MMR vaccine and forgot to give the varicella, you would have to wait at least four weeks or one month until you administer the varicella vaccine. Same thing applies to any two live vaccines. The rotavirus can cause intussusception. Remember, because it's um, a virus that causes diarrheal or, in, I should say, intestinal problems. Okay, and finally, the egg dilemma. If you have an egg allergy, you don't need to be worried about the influenza vaccine. Influenza, you can still take the influenza vaccine, but if you have like hives after uh, upon ingesting eggs, then you should just stay in the clinic for fifteen minutes under supervision in the clinic, of course. And uh, if you have severe allergy, egg allergy, which is anything other than hives, so if you have swelling or anything else, you should stay under proper medical supervision. In other words, most probably inside the hospital as an inpatient. MMR is absolutely safe in case of egg allergy. The only thing, um, I believe, for vaccines that you have to worry about if you have egg allergy is the yellow fever vaccine. Yellow for egg. Okay, thank you very much. These are my main sources that have been CDC website and Kaplan.